so let's start quickly with mm-hmm. these things and the first thing that i would you know people would 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 want to know about is is from where you belong to and how you started about your few qualification standards and how this podium happened so it's over to you got it sure sure ravi um it was first of all you know it was like i was uh, it was really great to know about you um Uh, see, as you rightly said, uh, in Kodiyang, uh, we have actively hired some leaders in the, over the past few years, and I know how difficult it is and how transformational it can be for startups. So, really, kudos to you to start something like this. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, um, second thing is, uh, you know, uh, it, it's uh, I, I like the idea of the podcast, the how to crack. I really liked uh, the vibe of it because uh, ultimately. all we are trying to you know trying to crack something try to hustle and try to crack something which which uh, this podcast name really captures baki yaar mere bare mein you know i uh, i i come from gwalior uh, it's a town in uh, it's a city in uh, uh, mp hmm. uh, so i was born there brought up there my parents uh, they they migrated there from a nearby village uh, you know and and they made, started a family there and and i was born you know studied there and prepared for my jee there and uh, eventually after class 2 class 12 i never went out of the city but uh, 12th class mein you know i, I gave the exam uh, got a good rank and uh, and uh they you know you have to be part of the uh so go for preparation and Still to love physics. See, I'm good in physics, and I did LED in state. Why not? Mm-hmm. So I just joined uh, in 2014, and uh, that was the time uh, I can say that uh, it all started. Uh, I was a very different person back then. Of course, ambition was always there. The desire to do something big was always there. Mm-hmm. Try to, uh, you know, really. uh go out of you know breakthrough from whatever circumstances were was there but the approach was very different uh, approach was uh, i won't believe jab main pad raha tha to even we uh, preparing to say yaar koi 30 40 000 ki job bhi mile na we will be very happy and we used to if somebody in family gets that kind of salary so we used to be very uh, excited and uh, you know inspired us tarah ke sapne the college ke naam pe bhi matlab i was good in studies but my parents Didn't think for a long time that I can make it, so they were mm-hmm. pushing me out of the preparation. They don't prepare, do something else uh, for my own goodwill because they didn't didn't want me to be disappointed. Uh, but somehow, you know, things fell in place, and uh, I could crack the exam. Came into IIT Delhi. First year was all about getting comfortable there. काफी सारे जगह से लोग थे. You know, it was a all cultural mix, socio economic, socio geographical mix of people. <laughs> There are people from all over the country and mm. from, from outside the country too, from mm. all social, social and economic backgrounds. Mm. Some came from very, very affluent families. Some came from tribal villages of the country. So that gave me a big, pers- a great perspective about things that you know, uh, by by your own effort and by uh, your own skills, whatever you have, you can actually be you know on a Equal stage with everyone, and I mean, you will get a chance to prove yourself. So, how was it? Ah, IIT team, of course, academic stay, which was which was tough, um, and and that really shaped us uh, in the sense that there are problems, there are you know tough situations, but you can fight it, and uh, you can even deal with the situations which you think will kill you, but but they don't. After that. the on academics the exposure was just amazing all the people who came there had a certain similar dna even though they came from very very different places but kuch ek similar dna bhi dikhta tha so there were clubs there were a lot of talks people people used to come from outside they used to talk about very nice things about the campus about us it was very motivating uh aur kafi sari cheeze you know matlab samajh mein aati thi ki baat chal kya raha hai duniya mein उसी टाइम पे मुझे डांस वगैरह तो आता नहीं था म्यूजिक भी नहीं आता था आई वाज नॉट डू दैट स्कूल वगैरह में पढ़ाई करता था पूरे टाइम एंड एंड कल घर में भी कल्चर ऐसा नहीं था कि यू नो यू गेट इन इन ऑल दिस तो तो वहां पे एक एक चीज आई मुझे दिल्ली घूमना है मैं तो दिल्ली देखना है मुझे तो वहां पे ना सोशल सर्विसेज का एक लिंक था 
तो आई स्टार्टेड पार्टिसिपेटिंग पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दीज वॉलंटियरिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज के यहाँ पे हम जा रहे हैं बच्चों को पढ़ाने या हम एनिमल केयर सेंटर जा रहे हैं या वोल्ड एज होम जा रहे हैं और उससे क्या होता था ना फ्री ट्रेवल मिलता था ऑल ओवर डेली फ्रॉम चाइल्ड हुड वेरी एक्सप्लोर काइंड ऑफ पर्सन तो तो मैंने वो ज्वाइन कर लिया उसके बाद जो भी इवेंट्स होते थे मैं कभी कोई इवेंट्स क्लास मेरे को जाता ही था कभी कभी छोड़ भी देता था बट इवेंट्स में कभी नहीं छोड़ता था वो एवर इज कमिंग वॉट एवर इज लाइक सी ऑफ अ टेक्सटाइल कंपनी इज कमिंग आई एम गोइंग सिचुएशन ग्रू इज कमिंग आई एम गोइंग इफ सम साइंटिस्ट इज गोइंग कमिंग आई एम गोइंग इवन दो इज माई नॉट माई डिपार्टमेंट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू हियर फ्रॉम पीपल आई अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू द थिंक तो ये दो चीजें थी और बाहर घूमने के वक्त में क्या हुआ ना इवेंचुअली आई वॉज सो इन्वॉल्व दैट दे मेड मी यू नो मैनेज certain number of people kya aap hi manage karo is volunteering activity ko and then i started realizing i am kind of good at this uh, to convince people to keep people together to uh, say things in a nice manner you know hmm. and waha pe bro ek laga ke yaar matlab if you have something meaningful to do theek hai jo tumhare andar se aata hai and even communicate you have the courage to communicate uh, and you have the courage ke figure out kar lenge so you can do wonders और वो मेरा शायद एक पॉइंट था जब मुझे लगा कि यार कुछ भी मुझे मन होगा मैं कर सकता हूँ नॉट नेसेसरी स्टार्टअप बट कुछ भी मतलब अगर मुझे खुद से भी स्टार्ट करना है यू नो एन अ पर्सन कैन इन्फ्लुएंस मल्टीपल पीपल एन आई कैपेसिटी टू इन्फ्लुएंस पीपल तो वो मेरे लिए काफी टर्निंग पॉइंट था उसके बाद तो है भैया प्रॉब्लम दिखती गई सोल्यूशन बनते गए कॉलेज में भी काफी कुछ किया ऑन दैट लेवल सम आर स्टिल रनिंग यू नो लॉट ऑफ वर्क वॉज डन विद कॉलेज we also did a government uh, project with delhi government at that time uh, me and my co-founder both uh, it was not related to college but it's something else mm-hmm. uh, just like you started a small thing we also did a small thing at that time and uh, we you started a company humne ek choti si cheez ki thi to to kaafi confidence aa gaya tha college mein and uh, that's how it started uh, uske baad uh, uske baad of course campus placements aaye and uh, of course bahut kuch karna tha but mera tha ke you know It's already a big transition to go out of this place, which is more than home to me. Mm-hmm. So, एक साथ बहुत क्यों नहीं करते? Whatever job comes, let let go with it and try to do the, your best there. जो भी था कि जहाँ भी opportunity best करें. फिर I joined uh, Next Education at that time. Uh, Next Education uh, Hyderabad based. It's a one of the largest companies in smart life, uh, smart classrooms. पर वहाँ में ज़्यादा time कर नहीं पाया क्योंकि वो था मैं उस दिन से गया था कि you know अपना best करते. अपना बेस्ट करते हैं और मतलब मैंने अपने कॉलेज में जो भी किया है अपना बेस्ट दिया और काफी अच्छे रिजल्ट लेके आया तो मुझे वहां था बट वहां मुझे रियलाइज हो गया कंपनी सर्टिन साइज की जब हो जाती है ना तो किसी को मतलब नहीं रहता ज्यादा इट्स ऑल अबाउट वर्क कम एंड वो मेरा मन नहीं था तो मैंने कहीं ना कहीं वो स्किप किया एंड उसके बाद आई स्टार्टेड माई करियर विद एन मल्टीपल थिंग्स है आई गॉट एन ऑफर फ्रॉम अ वेरी बिग कंसल्टिंग फॉर्म बट मैंने वो ज्वाइन नहीं किया एंड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद एन इंडिविजुअल आई वॉज वन ऑफ द को फाउंडर्स हॉस्टल्स एंड दो रूम इफ यू नो अबाउट दिस कंपनी सो ही वॉज वन ऑफ द को फाउंडर्स एंड ही स्टार्टेड समथिंग लाइक कंसल्टेंसी इन ग्रोथ प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट मार्केटिंग एंड आई ज्वाइन हिम एज एंड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद स्टार्टअप ऑन अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बेसिस इट वॉज इट वॉज अ रिस्की थिंग इट वॉज नॉट अटेबल जॉब बट इट वॉज क्वाइट अलॉट ऑफ फंड लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क uh but but learned a lot uh in that and 1.5 years i did that and then eventually this idea came which we'll talk about more um uh, ke okay, how this idea came but this idea came and i had the experience i had the confidence from all my past experience from starting from college ke yaar mujhe genuinely lagta hai ki ye hona chahiye aur main definitely ye communicate kar sakta hu logo ko and i'll see what happens so is tarah se tha uh अब तक की मेरी जर्नी ऐसी थी फिर ऑफ कोर्स कंपनी के बारे में भी आई आई टॉक मोर सो लाइक अभी तक जितना नो सो फार आई लिसन टू यू दैट आई फिगर आउट लाइक यू नो यू आर अ काइंड ऑफ इफ आई टू टेक यू थ्रू योर किड सेशन लाइक किड पार्ट सो यू आर अ काइंड ऑफ किड हु इवेंचुअली गो टू सम प्लेस ऑब्जर्व फॉर अ टाइम एंड पब्लिक इवेंचुअली फाइंड द बेस्ट फिट वेर यू कैन सिट और बी फिट इन दैट एरिना because i see like every places that you've been through you go there you observe for a certain time you accept whatever you have in your plate and then finally you eventually see ki aur kya kya material hai jo main yahan pe enjoy kar sakta hu and probably i can be fit in and that's the best thing which i figure out like observation is something that you uh, probably look out 
the, in a best way whenever you are going to new thing new opportunities is it so that that's my observation so far nice yes, actually uh, it's quite accurate and i'm surprised that you know you uh, you articulated in this manner how do i say it main isko kaise bolta hu ke be authentic kitne kya chahiye कई बार क्या होता है ना मेरे कॉलेज में थे काफी सारे लोग कि सडनली अलग पीपल स्टार्टेड कि मुझे आईस के लिए प्रिपेयर करना है फिर मेरा एक क्वेश्चन होता था क्यों वेरी फ्यू पीपल हैड द आंसर करेक्ट तो मतलब जहां पे भी हो अपने आप को समझो कि तुम कहां पर हो सिचुएशन को समझो अपने रिसोर्सेज समझो अपने एड्रेस और आंटी समझो एंड एंड टेक द बेस्ट फुट फॉरवर्ड करेक्ट है वो जो हाउ टू क्रैक है ना दैट्स द वे टू क्रैक जस्ट बी देयर understand your situation understand your opportunities be positive and uh, and just take the next step take the next step in the direction you feel right and and be sure care you're not influenced by the crowd you're not influenced by this or that kai baar tum galat bhi ho jaoge but that gives a lot of very different kind of confidence so you are right mera approach aise hi rehta hai even in business today of course we think of long term but we always take care what's the next step what do we need right जब आप किसी चीज को देखते हो तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड वेरी आई वुड से एडिकेट टाइम टू ऑब्जर्व इट प्रॉब्लम एंड देन फिगर आउट वॉट रिसोर्सेज आई है what changes i can make it to optimize the things so this probably would be an approach this is very fantastic i have seen somewhat i can relate this to uh, myself because i mean when i started a company for first first 3 to 4 months i was alone like i was i was having no idea so i was like okay fine this is a fun for me right now up to the mark let's go with this but eventually we we keep observing and you know evolving to the process i think this is the best approach Uh, a learning approach probably abhi hamare liye to this is the best thing so now my question goes it to be kaise codian ka idea aaya matlab you had all the experiences that you mentioned ki aap corporate experience matlab uh, you had a good people skill probably you thought aap manage bhi kar rahe the and you had a good startup thing as well you dropped out uh, i mean from that opportunity and then from starting the codian or let's say an idea and wo stage jahan pe aapne wo cheez chhod di thi let's say last opportunity which you had you left wo cheez wo transition kaise bana how was that idea came in your mind how that idea came in your mind and uh, kaise aage gayi baat so to aisa tha ki you know i joined a company then left it then start working on this uh, you know multiple contracts with multiple clients hmm. from india from australia from philippines you know these countries to wo that was going on Uh, like I, uh, it was 1.5 years since I was doing that. मुझे mm-hmm. डेढ़ साल हो गया था ये आइडिया मेरे पास पहले से था ये आइडिया आपको बताऊँ कब आया जब मैं नेक्स्ट ईयर ज्वाइन किया एंड uh, जब तीन महीने बाद मैंने डिसाइड किया गया आई शुड नॉट डू दिस बिकॉज ऑफ मल्टीपल रीजन फ्यू थिंग्स वर रॉन्ग फ्रॉम देयर साइड ऑल्सो बट बिकॉज मल्टीपल रीजन आई डिसाइड कि मुझे अब नहीं करना तीन महीने तक मैंने टाइम दिया इस चीज को कि लेट्स वर्क आउट लेट्स यू नो लेट्स लेट्स सी एज यू साइड के मैं हमेशा जाके देखता हूँ आई डोंट मैंने ऑब्जर्व किया मुझे लगा कि कहीं ना कहीं मैं ये पार्ट नहीं लेना चाहता टूडे <laughs> बट एट दैट टाइम तो ऐसा लगता है यार कि यू नो द काइंड ऑफ फैमिली आई कम फ्रॉम कि सारी सारी जॉब भी बहुत है तो तो मुझे लगा रहा था कि यू नो क्या करूं मैं फिर मुझे जब भी मैं अप्लाई कर रहा था ना देन आई वाज थिंकिंग क्या स्किल्स क्या है तो मैं अगर मैं आईआईटी से ग्रेजुएट हूं उससे पहले भी मैं स्कूल में अच्छा था बट आज मेरे पास एक ऐसी स्किल नहीं है जिसको मैं सेल कर सकूं आई हैव पीपल स्किल्स बट व्हाट व्हाट अबाउट पीपल स्किल्स मतलब तो मुझे कहीं नहीं लगा यार ये इतना कुछ हो रहा है बट टेंजिबल स्किल्स है नहीं हमारे पास Even even engineering campuses, even IITs, maybe people get hired for product manager, for consulting. For the jobs they are not trained for. Correct. Uh, uh, and then that's unfortunate in the sense that train कर लेते हैं. But but 
ये चाल फोर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ स्कूल फोर ईयर्स ऑफ कॉलेज वॉट फॉर अ पीस ऑफ पेपर अल्टीमेटली फीस ऑफ पेपर विच चेस ओके यार ये बंदा मेहनत कर लेता है लड़की मेहनत कर लेती है एंड सीख लेती है जल्दी कैपिटल अच्छा है इसको कंसल्टिंग करा देते हैं प्रोडक्ट मैनेजिंग करा देते हैं तो ऑल दिस वॉज जैसे पीस ऑफ पेपर वॉज अ गेम तो मुझे थोड़ा सा डिसटिस्फेक्शन लगा था और मुझे वो बहुत अनकंफर्टेबल मेरे कुछ वीक थे तो मुझे लगता है कि स्टार्टअप जब भी करते हैं ना कहीं ना कहीं खुद का पेन होता है तो आई थिंक इट मेक्स थिंग इजी फॉर यू तो ये मेरा खुद का पेन था कि यार मुझे एक दिन लगा बैठ के कि यार ये ना हमें बचपन में कोई इंट्रोड्यूस तो कर देता मैं आई टी खेलता रह गया कंप्यूटर पे अपने समबड़ी वोड़े गिवन मी समाइडेंस तो आई वोड पिक डेट अपिकॉज एंड बस उस टाइम पे उसी बीच में कोडिंग सीखना शुरू कर दिया था right. मुझे लगा कुछ सीखना है लकीली hmm. और अनलकीली इवेंचुअली समझ में आया कि जॉब तो मिल ही जाती है right. मतलब वो मुझे मिल गई बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट एवर आई डेड एंड वॉट एवर माई प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स वर बट वो मेरी जर्नी स्टार्ट हो गई थी फिर मैंने वन पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स काम किया मैंने स्टार्टअप से कैसे काम करते हैं आई वॉज वर्किंग विद विद मेनी को फाउंडर्स एंड दे आर वेरी अमेजिंग पीपल बट आई ऑल्सो रियलाइज दे आर नॉट आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यू नो these things are doable these things are doable and how does it work you know how how equity investment works what do you do in very initial stages i one company i was working with only at 10 people how it works in the very initial stages how it works in a little higher scale higher scale how do you get more support when you grow so kuch kuch idea mujhe mil gaya tha to jab mera nikla you know i remember it was november 14th only uh, uh, in 2019 to covid wala kuch nahi aaya tha अच्छा एंड मुझे लगा कि यार डूइंग दिस इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट टू मी इज इट्स मोर डिफिकल्ट टू नॉट टू डू इट देन यू नो जस्ट डू इट तो उस टाइम मुझे आइडिया आया मैंने मुझे एक सर्टेन मैंने एक सेविंग थी मेरे पास फॉर फ्यू मंथ एंड एक मेरे सर्टेन पोजिशन में था आपने और मुझे एक सर्टेन नेटवर्क की एक्सेस भी थी टू वर वेरी एनकरेजिंग टू मी के एंड दीज द पीपल वो हैव बिल्ड देयर ओन बिजनेस दे वर वेरी सपोर्टिव शन यू कैन डू दिस इफ यू प्लान टू डू दिस आई बैक यू kind of commitments i got so we started i i discussed this idea with multiple batchmates uh, it clicked with rubika rubika is my co-founder and uh, yeah she was my batchmate uh, in campus and we did a lot of projects together and i knew she is very smart she was in flipkart uh, mm-hmm. she had some amazing experience in flipkart uh, and i knew that she will be an amazing co-founder so i just tried uh, explain her um she was reluctant in the start but uh, when we you know first time talked to the customers and we did our first pre trial and demo session and she saw she saw in the november december itself she saw the kids getting excited and so happy about it hmm. she changed, you know she got bought in and then we never had discussion after that okay okay are you coming or not coming it just naturally happened <laughs> so the so november ne start kiya november ne start kiya idea yahi tha ke yaar hame lagta hai the coding is not an academic subject it's a working skill hmm. second thing is once you learn it you just don't learn to type on code you actually learn to think how to break down problems and solve it correct teesri cheez ye thi ki yaar kitne saare paas laptop hai internet hai so uh, it you can use it either to play games or change the world matlab to correct why not teach people to make the best use out of this infrastructure that we have hmm. and fir uh, humne बच्चों को कुछ टेक्स रन किए बट मेरे डाउट्स भी थे मुझे लगा था कि शायद मैं बड़ा हो गया हूँ तो मुझे लग रहा है ऐसा सर बच्चे इतना एंजॉय ना करें हो तो सकता है पेरेंट्स शायद इसके बहुत अगेंस्ट हो तो हमने सब कुछ टेस्ट किया हमने बहुत ही क्लोज एनवायरमेंट की कम्युनिटी बनाई और सब कुछ टेस्ट किया बच्चों के साथ एंड किस वर आस्किंग मैम वेन इज द नेक्स्ट क्लास सर वेन इज दी एवर आस्ट टीचर के वेन इज माई नेक्स्ट क्लास नो फील लाइक रनिंग अवे अगर हम जब एक फोर्थ क्लास फिफ्थ क्लास इस तरह बच्चों को हम इतना करवा पा रहे हैं तो वो एक ब्रेक थ्रू पॉइंट था उसके बाद चीजें बनती गई बनती गई इवेंचुअली रेस स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वेंचर कैपिटल एंड एंड टुडे वी कैन से टॉप थ्री टॉप टू प्लेयर्स इन दिस कंट्री इन दिस सेगमेंट तो अमेजिंग अमेजिंग आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉन्डरिंग अबाउट दिस लाइक मुझे ये चीज समझ में आ गई कि यू हार्ड इट वॉज नॉट सार्ट एंड लाइक सो फार आई स्पोक टू like x y z number of people and i found that there is no sudden thing happening because all thing which which have built and which are made has a certain connection before like kisi ne people skill kari hai then he became probably a speaker kisi ne kuch kara and that eventually how uh, probably that that person utilized in a different way to this that so that is one thing which i understood so far that it is very common in you know who whoever is creating and then one thing you said i have a point to clear on uh, i mean include on is 
you said you have a computer or mobile either you create something or either you consume it so my thought is also a same uh, you have a life like little bit emotional on that point you have a life either you be, be creator of anything or either you be consumer that's your choice so how it how it, you have to decide it probably this will help people who are uh, willing to start something they will they they will easily you know get this to decide okay what exactly i want to be on a side because you said i always somewhat i thought like you you used to ask a question is it something that i want to do for long time and then when you do not get an idea about yes you you probably look out for the other option the next question comes out like when coding started as a company if you have to give in a very man lo ki india mein aap aap target audience aapke indian hai Uh, या फिर यूएस है तो अगर मार्केट में कोडियन टू इंडियन पेरेंट्स अगर मैं नॉन कन्वेंशनल और कन्वेंशनल दोनों एक नॉर्मल बैकग्राउंड मिडिल क्लास फैमिली के पेरेंट्स को अगर आपको बताना होगा व्हाट इज कोडियन एंड हाउ दिस कैन ब्रिंग अ चेंज इन योर केड आप कैसे बताएंगे पब्लिक दिस वुड बी अ मैसेज टू द नेक्स्ट क्लास फॉर पब्लिक वॉचिंग दिस घर में बच्चे होते हैं ठीक है बच्चे आजकल दे आर सो स्मार्ट यू कैन सी दे आर वेरी एक्टिव दे प्ले आउटसाइड इन साइड ऑल्सो ऑल द गैजेट्स दे नो हाउ टू यूज दे आर स्मार्ट टीवी हैंडल बेटर देन यू तो ये बच्चे हैं इनके पास स्कूल जाते हैं स्कूल में बहुत कुछ करते हैं दे आर वेरी स्मार्ट आपके घर में ये बच्चा है आप इसको यू नो एंड ही और शी इज हैविंग सर्टेन एप्टीट्यूड सर्टेन वे ऑफ यू नो दे आर वेरी एक्टिव ब्रेन तो जैसे आप जब बच्चा बहुत फिजिकली एक्टिव होता है ना तो उसको हम स्पोर्ट्स में लगा देते हैं एनर्जी चैनलाइज होगी इसी क्यूरोसिटी होती है प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स होती है और कुछ 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 क्रिएट करने की एक नेचुरल टेंडेंसी होती है तो व्हाट आई टेल देम के और मुझे लगता है बच्चों को तो कन्विंस करने की जरूरत भी नहीं है वी गेट सो मेनी कॉल्स समटाइम्स फ्रॉम किड्स ओनली विदाउट डिपेंडेंस नोइंग तो आपका बच्चा है वाई डोंट यू इंट्रोड्यूस देम यू हैव अ कंप्यूटर एट होम वाई डोंट यू इंट्रोड्यूस देम जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस कर देखो आपको कोई नहीं कह रहा है इसको आप मार्क्स का कुछ बना दो आप इसको इंट्रोड्यूस करो एक बार कोडिंग से एक सही तरीके से एक बार उन्हें स्टार्ट करने दो और अगर उनको इंटरेस्ट आ गया और उनको इंटरेस्ट आ गया इट इज लाइक सचिन डिस्कवरिंग क्रिकेट करेक्ट ठीक है ये वो उनको एक बार इंटरेस्ट आ गया तो फर्स्ट केस दे विल हैव अ स्किल दे विल दे विल डू इट फॉर अयर एंड लीव इट दे विल हैव अ लाइफ लॉन्ग अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ हाउ टेक्नोलॉजी वर्क हाउ वेबसाइट रियली वर्क ऑन द बैक एंड एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज इट विल हेल्प दम इन दियर अकेडमिक्स पार्ट यू नो इट इम्प्रूव दियर मैथ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स थर्ड थिंग इज सपोज दे वॉन्ट टू डू समथिंग आपको वेबसाइट तो बनानी पड़ेगी या फिर कुछ तो सी आर एम कोई सॉफ्टवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर यूज करोगे कुछ तो करोगे अगर आपका फुली टेक्निकल बिजनेस भी नहीं है तो तो ये वर्स्ट केस है बेस्ट केस योर चाइल्ड माइंड फाइंड अ हॉबी एंड बिकम सो गुड एट इट कि वो एक ग्लोबल एक ग्लोबल वर्क फोर्स का पार्ट बने एंड आफ्टर स्कूल वॉट वी बिलीव ना स्कूल के बाद अगर कोई अच्छे से हम ये सब प्रोग्राम करवा रहे हैं सब करें तो स्कूल के बाद कॉलेज शुड बी ऑप्शनल राइट एंड वेरी मच पॉसिबिलिटी फोर्टीन ईयर्स वी स्टडी इन स्कूल करेंट ईयर्स एंड आउट ऑफ दैट सिक्स वी डेडिकेट टू सम दीज काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग उसके बाद कॉलेज शुड भी ऑप्शनल है ना ट्वेल्थ के बाद लोगों को दुनिया घूमनी है साथ में काम करना है फ्रीलांस दिस शुड भी एबल टू डू इट और और वॉट एवर दे वॉन्ट टू इट गिव दिन यू नो वेन यू आर मोर सिक्योर इन वेयर यू आर यू एक्चुअली थिंक मोर प्रोडक्टिविटी आप आप अपने बारे में सोसाइटी के बारे में ज्यादा सोचते हो जब आप खुद में सेटिस्फाइड तो वो कहीं ना एक सेल्फ लाइन्स का ही मैसेज है कि इफ यू लर्न समथिंग लाइक दिस इट कैन रियली हेल्प इट माइट हेल्प योर चाइल्ड टू डिस्कवर समथिंग रियली वंडरफुल राइट आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द से दैट यू आर यू आर ट्राइंग टू यू नो बाय ऑफ गिविंग दिस एन ऑप्शन इनेबलिंग द यू नो परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग स्पेशली ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि इफ अ पर्सन इज अकेट इज गोइंग थ्रू दिस would eventually come across that okay this is something which i eventually don't want to do in rest of the life so that's also a clear idea of your kid ki okay this is something sure he is interested in or probably he is about to refrain from these kind of stuff next question is this like i am very interested to know about see this journey business is how like i believe that process is something that you have to uh, be with in order to build great business or probably a good business surviving but there are challenges there are challenges talk us about like pehla saal jab aapne ye product launch kiya till the year first year how was the journey kya stages rahe how how soon you you've been able to raise money and i would specially 
like to know about like you know this is very skeptical question but eventually few of the iit also public uh, tech guys even they are not known to th- this fact that okay you do not need much capital to start or probably what amount of capital that you would like to uh, give us an idea that apne inse is cheez se shuru kara that properly you started with and eventually you did so how was the capital amount you start what was the capital amount and ek saal tak kaisi journey rahi no challenges kya kya especially dekhne ko mile sure sure सी जैसे मैंने बताया कि एटलीस्ट एटलीस्ट बाय यू स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम हैज टू हैव सम इमोशनल कनेक्ट टू यू क्योंकि टू टाइम्स आर वेरी फ्रेजाइल एंड बीइंग ऑनेस्ट व्हेन आई लुक बैक एट दैट टाइम दे सीम स्केरी बट उस टाइम पे बिल्कुल डर नहीं लगता था क्योंकि यू हैव सच एन इमोशनल कनेक्ट एंड एक्सट्रीम सेल्फ बिलीफ इन द स्टार्ट एटलीस्ट Uh, later on, of course, a lot of people get involved. You no, know, things become much more technical, business-wise, and it becomes more about optimizing, finding new channels. But in the start, it's nothing. It's just you there, and if you sleep for two days, the business is not there for two days. Right. Uh, so, so, so that's how we started. Rupi and me, we both started. We had some teachers which we onboarded on a part-time basis. We made our curriculum. We tried with different different things. We started a very small program. Uh, बट हम दोनों के अंदर एक चीज थी कि हम दोनों ना वो आज भी है और वो मतलब मिसिंग होते हुए लेकर हमने वी वर नॉट एंटाइटल टूपी कैन मी एड नो एंटाइटलमेंट कि वी डिजर्व सम हमारा था कि वी विल डू सो गुड के एवरीथिंग एल्स विल फॉलो राइट जो भी हमारा शुरू से जो था कि कस्टमाइजेशन हो गया एक क्लासेस जो हमने शुरू की हम बहुत स्क्रैपी थे बहुत जुगाड़ कर करके जैपियर यूज करके या फिर वेफ्लो यूज करके हमने जो बनाया थोड़ा बहुत कोड भी किया बट हमारा था कि वी विल डू सो गुड दैट एवरीथिंग एल्स विल फॉलो तो तो इमोशनली दिस वाज इफ यू सी लॉजिकली इट वाज टफ बट यू आर इन अ डिफरेंट जोन एंड यू हैव टू बी इन अ डिफरेंट जोन व्हेन यू स्टार्ट समथिंग तो वी वर इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट जोन फॉर फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ईयर एंड वी हैड सम पीपल यू नो वी वर टॉकिंग टू देम व्हाटएवर वी न्यू अबाउट पीपल दैट हाउ टू मैनेज पीपल व्हाटएवर वी न्यू अबाउट एनीथिंग वी जस्ट यूज्ड इट and we had some good great people who joined us at that time as interns today they are associate directors in the company hmm. uh so is tarah se chala yaar matlab humne bas next year dekhte gaye dekhte gaye dekhte gaye scale karna hai scale karna hai scale karna hai and and having a strong clarity in your head ki kya nahi karna hai kya karna hai uh, we never followed anyone uh humne apna curriculum bhi banaya we never saw any competitors curriculum we always created our curriculum on our own and if you see today our curriculum is totally different our learning track uh, methodology our uh, pedagogy is totally different from any mm. because we have built it we have never saw what they are doing we always right. we will just ask customers and do it regarding fundraise it's a very tricky question because uh, sometimes it doesn't take much time and effort and uh, at other times you put all you have still you don't get it to kuch zyada nahi time lagata humko mujhe 4 ya 5 mahine hue the we were reaching out to lot of people Uh, uh, we were getting a lot of rejection. A lot of people we talked to. Eventually, Gil Capital maybe liked what we were doing. Uh, they, I think, reached out to me, and you know, maybe I messaged them somewhere. I forgot, but they reached out to me, and they understood oh. what we were doing. We were very authentic in our thing. We were very, very honest about our doubts. We were very honest about our strong beliefs. So, Jobi, I have told you, it is. It was not a big uh, thing, and. And we raised a very small round. It's not. It was not much uh, compared to what our competitors were raising. So, at that time, we didn't know that we had capital. I mean, of course, in business, it was required. But at that time, we didn't have any philosophy. That capital raise should be done or not be done. We didn't understand it because we we were doing it for the first time. So, we raised a certain round, 50k dollars. We raised at that time. We were raising a lot of money, and we raised it very efficiently. उस समय काफी कुछ सीखा आई थिंक जस्ट राउंड के आने के बाद तीन महीने तक फ्लैट लाइन बट इवेंचुअली हम समझे कि हाउ टू यूज कैपिटल ऑल्सो कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट यू नो हाउ डू मैनेज कैश फ्लो हाउ डू यू सी एम पी एन एल एंड हाउ डू यू मेक फाइनेंशियल मॉडल ये सब हमने सीखा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन तक हम थोड़ा फ्लैट लाइन रहे बट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ग्रू आर थिंक एट एस टेन Uh, without any more capital, like hardly any capital. So, so, or our competition, we pass. You know, everybody at four million dollars, five million dollars, ten million dollars. 
एंड टुडे वी आर एट अ हायर स्केल लेवल तो तो वो पहला साल काफी यू हैव टू हैव सेल्फ बिलीव यू हैव टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्लैरिटी एंड जस्ट बी ओपन टू लर्न तो मुझे मुझे ही लगता है सेल्फ बिलीव एंड इमोशनल कनेक्ट टू द प्रॉब्लम एंड एंड बी बीइंग ओपन टू लर्न इज इज द की uh and that that was the time you know i have how i say my first year was okay so if i have to ask you any specific moment that you've been through like you know obviously agar aap startup kar rahe ho uh there are many thing that you show uh, to your investors or there are many thing that you show to consumers but there are different thing which you do at back end what you would like to suggest Uh, the kind of fellow founders or probably the people who are trying to build such or in a stage of first years of their their startup journey is somewhat we have a fear that okay i am doing this but agar usko pata chala that i am doing this way probably he would feel like okay or she would for investors ko lagega ki okay this is not something it is to be done in the way so as i said humne bahut sara jugad kiya so what is your key point on that point jo bhi is phase mein hai like should they should they continue however they have to do is or probably it is it is a point to consider that whatever you show to investors or probably the people out that should be on our place aapko kya lagta hai is pe mujhe lagta hai ki see it's not we have to see it in right manner jaise ki hmm. uh, suppose you are doing something and you are doing it manually but you are showing ki we'll build a software around it Just right giving example and hmm. our current process is very inefficient correct but still you establish the demand Okay. You establish the use case. Okay. That's important. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, आज मैं live class उस time पे we were very scrappy as I said. But today hmm. I'm very proud the kind of technology we have, and uh, not just on the consumer facing, but in the operation side also. There are so hmm. many automations. Hmm. Like these were unimaginable when we started. Unimaginable. Right. Right. Um, right. And uh, I'll just say, are you planning to keep doing it like this, or are you going to? do something about it if you are going to do something about it then put it like this see i have explained that there is a use case hmm. right now we can do this and this is being done by google sheet formula or import range or api but there is an opportunity that we we'll build something around it create a competitive uh, moat create a you know this differentiation and a commoat through that software through the technology and scale it hmm. so it's all about messaging It's all about messaging. If you are planning to keep doing it like this, and uh, and after you have to solve it, then it will eventually come to a disconnect, which will be much more painful than getting mm-hmm. rejection. And and I know first time founders will get heavy funding, guys, but that's not true. Uh, you know, it's very important. Later on, you realize that you know it's very important to have that kind of thing. But but it's fine. Whether it's fine, you should not you should not shy away from being happy. Exactly. Uh, it just uh, it just that. You are just getting things done, and when you'll have resources, you will build something around it. It's right, nice. right. So I have a live example in front of you for this jugad and scrappy things. So I went to Zoom, and eventually last week I went to Zoom, and I wanted to schedule a meet. So I totally, I'm, I'm very honest to you. I wasn't aware about that you cannot use the feature more than forty minutes if you are using it for free. Uh, I said okay, fine. But then I thought like let's let's give a try to use it for part two meeting links. eventually we'll see the how it performs because it, usually i used to do meetings on google meets and all those stuff so up you know our call is going to disconnect in 3 minutes this is one of the example i'm not probably saying that this is this is right way to approach a people but i think this is something which you have to go through when you are building something you are trying something new but but people are looking for perfect you know perfections initially and that uh, probably gives them i would say demotivation to the process i think but which should be presented in a very positive manner okay i am doing this properly i would i would correct it as you suggest uh, the next thing which i wanted to ask like abhi aap dekh rahe ho jo economy chal rahi hai startups ke liye and especially i have, I have so closely work with edtech aapko kya lagta hai how this edtech is going to be in 5 years or more than down the line like what is your projection because after covid people projected something else but after covid i am especially thinking like this is not something a short term thing which is happening uh, let's say in india or globally how your perceptions are to edtech or a good startups in edtech spaces because we see lot of 
here and then are uncertain things happening out there hmm hey see uh, first of all when when we started now we started before covid so matlab hum hamesha hi sochte the ki matlab lot of people and then covid happened and lot of people started this and then hmm. they started down hmm. okay uh, there are multiple examples even existing companies got into that but now they pulled out while we are strongly growing like we are growing every month we are hmm. growing Hmm. Uh, just give me a minute. So every month we are growing, and ah, uh, uh, so uh, this is a very fundamental need. This is a, we always believe that fundamentally education will always be required. Schools are there, coaching classes are there, universities are there. So education will definitely be required. It's just that you are bringing it online, and by bringing it online, you are giving certain uh, affordable, I will say, convenience to people, uh, convenience and superior quality experience. Okay. So if you can do that, the definitely is definitely going to grow. Now, what's happening in what's happening in you know in edtech right now? My my perception would be first of all, overall, when funding got cut down, hmm. and you won't believe, I think last twenty twenty one twenty to twenty twenty one created a lot of entrepreneurs. We thought right. capital is free, and I've seen people raising just on idea of four million dollars, five million dollars. Right. Our right. business was doing you know currently eighty hundred crores annual. Yeah, and then you know that kind of money was not available at time. So, lot of people started building like capital is free, and every story was getting sold. Mm-hmm. Even in ad tech, uh, you know, people were doing fancy things which customers didn't care about. They burned a lot of money in it, and when funding is going down, ask me. Uh, you are asking that you know what do you think about ad tech in the long term and right. five years time? Right. Right? Right. So I I I will start like to say that it's a fundamental need. Uh, education is a fundamental need. We just moved it online, made it more convenient and improved the quality. So mm. it's definitely going to increase. Mm. Uh, and coming to the segments like coding, maths, robotics, which we teach, uh, they are the growing segments. Like coding, kids doing coding still a niche, not a norm. Which we want to make it a we want to make it a norm. Mm. Uh, what these fluctuations are? Fluctuations are mostly driven by what vc funding is coming and if a business is made in a way that it requires venture capital and you know the capital is not going to come in next one year and right. definitely there would be restructuring on the customer side we have not seen any fluctuation at all mm. and and it's true for me a lot of industries historically also that uh, there was uh, you know uh, a lot of times customer demands do not shift but the capital uh kind of shifts capital sometimes don't prefer the certain segment or certain people or certain geography and that's why we see these kind of changes for mm-hmm. us we were always very capital efficient and uh, we were always built in a way that there's no capital required and that's why we grew the way we grew uh but i'm very uh, i'm very positive about the long term outcome because we don't directly talk to customers and uh, you know and we we know that if somebody is buying paying something for it uh on a phone uh, by just having a phone call definitely right. they want it definitely they need it mm. okay they just ask why you uh, and there uh, we we give our answers and you know even the customers so yeah. so i am very positive i think uh, I'll, i'll give you an example my cousins are there my cousins you know live in a tier 4 town uh they they saw me they also want to do something possibly crack some exam or something mm. um you want to prepare for neat and i knew that they can't afford to go out uh, to a city like kota or Correct. delhi uh, to study uh, one is of course the fees and living expense but then second thing is what is going to be the guarantee that they will get a good good uh, teaching uh, you know good good education because right the parade to work the top Cream only get the most attention and remaining are just you know mm, the mm, people mm. who make the money. Mm. Unfortunately, that's the case. So, but now they are taking, they are using some of the tech startups uh, to do their classes and they are finding it a lot more valuable, which is which is great. Maybe mm. they won't have as good experience as a A batch or B batch of a Bansal, but mm. but still, uh, it's it's just mind blowing the kind of thing you can do through it. So I think you are trying to say that uh, we are not. i would say half of the potential enabled that people are accepting education technology online uh, because most of uh, i would say that you mentioned that tier 4 cities or tier 3 cities 
like most of the consumers we who are in need of education like you know people who are already rich probably are looking out for the kind of quality education like my perception and view i've seen in mumbai probably they they figure out and probably they have different perspectives but people from type three cities and type four cities are having a big dream and aspiration so i think it is still to enable that kind of uh, i would say acceptance and we are uh, about to see that education uh, to this is i i think this is a start this is not an end which i personally feel like people businesses who are in attack and gonna survive uh, who are you know building something which having a good sustainable output uh, gonna survive like how your plan is to take kodiyan uh, to the next step like if i have to ask you how you are kind of you no know, person uh, you are also having vcs pressure or you know that you have built something probably you can handle from your uh, abilities how your perspective is to kodiyan and your business sure uh, coming to the impact part uh you know uh, i talked talk to you about an example which i saw with my cousin. but i'll tell you some examples of coding so we mm. have a global presence now we mm. are actively we are having active customer five country mm. and uh, uh actually much more than that five countries we actively you know acquire customers from but we have customers maybe probably from more than 10 countries mm. uh and lot in lot of these countries we are serving communities which communities could not or which families could not afford a life life tutoring Correct. they did not have the resources because life tutoring is so costly there hmm. so and then we are being because of us they are being able to teach their kids you know uh, coding math robotics and all these stages and they are the ones who are going to give sat and actually might crack some very good colleges there hmm. so hmm. in fact is global um uh, and our our aim is like a world is open so we have uh, we have some school partnerships in kenya we have some uh, great number of customers coming from uk us canada many other countries so mm. and uae singapore malaysia so all these countries we have quite a lot of customers from and 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 there very affluent people also are taking these courses but sometimes who can't afford life tutoring they also take these courses and still get the quality that any other person is getting mm. uh regarding vcs see capital is is a thing that if you use it well it can do a lot of good thing Correct. but uh, as such we don't feel a pressure uh, mm. we never felt that pressure because we have understood that uh, vcs in general are very uh, trend driven it's not about you a uh, lot of time very young entrepreneurs you reach out to me uh, they just start something i say unfortunately it's just 20 30% in your hand correct the meaning it's not in your hand itself but of course you do your best in it 20 30% that you have you build a story well you you explain your product well you show great results and uh, and you run a great process around like how to reach out to most people and how to pick up pitch you do that correct and uh, there's a chance that you know you will you will get what you want to get so so that's the thing so right now you don't feel pressure but uh, i am very hopeful the situation will get better uh hmm. we will scale 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 and eventually what so, capital is required will come in like wh- what exactly you know in numbers you know just give, give us a little idea that what is the valuation right now you you have raised last round and how much is somewhat approximate revenue ar is going right now so we raised uh, back in 2020 so it was a okay. long long time back okay uh, and uh, so that that's the thing and second thing is in terms of valuation we can't say anything like it, it mm. varies uh, but i can say today on a monthly basis we do have uh, more scale better scale than few unicorns in it okay okay uh, but but uh, but that's the thing that's how it works covid you know but but uh, yeah we do have higher numbers than few one of the one of the unicorns in edtech Okay. Yeah. I understood. So probably I understood like you know I can figure out this. But moving on to the last part of this conversation quickly. There are few few uh, things which is related not related to business. It is related to entrepreneurial journey and the founder's journey mm-hmm. actually how it can motivate. So the very first question goes to how challenging this journey you felt so far was to you and what is the the best moment or i would say best challenging moment that you felt and you learned and uh, you tackled so far 
like share us any any such thing events happened with you yeah see um so in terms of challenges it is definitely challenging uh the biggest thing is the kind of amount of responsibility you feel uh mm. so as you scale initially you know survival is the is a problem like how do you make the company survive in the first first one year mm. uh that takes a lot out of you you have to know something of everything uh you, whatever people you have you have to have a great support of them mm. you have to you know really influ- motivate them enough that they support you full heartedly um uh, uh later on of course as a company scale initially you don't have nothing, you have nothing to lose uh, but as the company scales there are right. a lot to lose and you sometimes feel it all depends on you so in like that is a horrible people yes. yeah so in coding like even people uh, you know salaries depend on us and some somehow as founder and ceo you feel like it depends on you and it's right. not at all a comfortable feeling it, it's really scary uh So that's the scariest part i would say that's the scariest part uh, you know uh, that so many people depend on you. uh but what do you like is that sometimes you know we get very nice emails from the customers uh, like great reviews on google trust pilot and they say very nice things i think education is one of the one of the places one of the things that can make deep impact at scale uh, so you can be pretty scalable and but you are not just helping someone getting their mooli or gajar in 10 minutes Correct. we're helping them to change the trajectory of their kids lives so wo kafi satisfying hota hai second thing is whenever i see in my team that they come to work they are working with us since last 2 years 2.5 years market kahin se kahin chala gaya tha beech mein bahut kuch hua right. they stayed with us and right. when they say ki yaar we like it here to so kaisa hmm. hota hai na tuition ka example diya ke phone mein tuition teacher ko bolta hai na main kal aaunga kaise mujhe job mein yehi lagta hai ki by default we don't like our job <laughs> but if you are being able to create an environment where people are liking it people feel respected nurtured cared for hmm. but of course uh, driven you know challenge they find it challenging also they find they are growing so we created this environment so the impact we create on them that's very satisfying hmm. and somewhere you feel like it, you had a at least some role to play in all this so wo so. that that's a very <laughs> sweet feeling <laughs> थॉट Sure. I think this is actually the toughest thing to crack <laughs> as an entrepreneur. Uh, I think this is the diffi- diffi- most difficult thing to crack, and I think somebody who has cracked it really well has cracked entrepreneurship, hmm. Uh, hmm. and which nobody has done it. So I think there, my approach is still evolving. I'm still understanding, but few things I like in people is that, uh, like culture wise, like culture. at kodian we all are very hard working very driven but we don't give each other a lot of hard time so i always say people work should be challenging people should not right so i usually like a bit flexible open to learn open to coach hard working people uh right. who like to act you know who who, who like, you know so that that thing I'm, i i see uh hmm. like in one of the rewards and recognition programs you we were having one of the one of the executive in they said that i don't feel like i'm working in a job i feel like we are running a college project i am working in my friend so he something okay great um uh, uh, so that kind of openness that kind of freedom you know whenever i i, I seen you know somebody sitting on the table and i go next to them they don't stop talking you know they they still feel comfortable to keep talking what they are talking about. i can understand the amazing so feeling <laughs> uh, so i just feel like these kind of people uh, other than that they should be just smart and they should be responsible matlab smart honest uh so yeah these are the things smartness honesty openness opening uh, being open to learn being open to coach uh, coach others like, okay and, i and i would give you a situation in them okay let's let's let me just understand it little tricky way uh, let's say you have a you have a guy to you probably need like two years of experience in the number but you have another side you have a guy who is having One year of experience in the same down the line. 
how would you choose like obviously that person who is having less experience have more accurate weight i mean your desire what whatever the things the pointers you are looking out for you will hire that person or probably that person who is challenging to you to handle but eventually he or she is coming up with the good experiences keeping the business in I mind i'll go well. with the first i'll i'll go the first with the first one how like uh, why? because ultimately not a not a standing but like as a standing person hardly anybody achieves anything Uh, it's always a team effort. It's always a team right. effort. Suppose I'll tell you one role which is most, uh, which is most, uh, I'll say uh, individualistic, which is sales. Okay. Sales the place is very obvious. Okay. But sales man, you feel like this is the person who gets the sales. Correct. Suppose you hired a very star guy. Hmm. He or she did a lot of sales. Then you have to change certain policy. Okay. Uh, yeah, product me, I mean, change karna hai. We will now sell this. We will use hmm. this policy, that policy. And that right. person is giving you a hard time. Hmm. Okay. You experiment with some new product. That hmm. person is useful. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So, that guy, what what will you do with that person? Right. Lata rahega apna. Uski kuch time mein growth nahi hogi. Hmm. She will become she will become grumpy. Ruin your culture. So, wo sab hoga. Is tarah se mujhe ek insaan chahiye jo aaye, apna best the, open kare, wo kar lega. And hmm. और वो मुझे हेल्प करे एक एजिलिटी लाने में कंपनी में स्टार्ट सम न्यू प्रोडक्ट यू नो समी कैन जस्ट सिट विद यूर ब्रेन स्टॉम दीज आर वैल्यूबल थिंग्स तो आई बस नहीं थिंक दैट वे आई थिंक आई थिंक आई अग्री विद दिस पॉइंट आई थिंक आई अग्री स्ट्रॉगली बिकॉज आई सीन द हायरिंग ट्रेंड लाइक रियली इफ आई एम टू टेल यू अबाउट स्टार्टअप पीपल आर रिकमेंडेड हु आर हैविंग अ विल इन नेक्स्ट टू आई मीन क्रैक एनी थिंग rather than people who are having experiences just experience and they are not agile to the process or let's say what is demand so i think this yeah. is one of the uh, critical requirement of any startup to grow within less time i think last question of this podcast uh, which is related to how to crack headline abhi let's say this podcast might be uh, watched by a founder who is probably in a stage because i recently uh, you know uh, just spoke to a founder who is still in a phase he said okay avinash probably let's connect after three months probably at that time i would be having some story to say he would definitely watch this so whoever is watching this at this stage who are let's say within a year of period or let's say any other person who is from uh, top colleges or not from tier 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 1 tier 2 tier 3 colleges and lastly whoever who is looking out to switch to something or probably want something to start up or anything he or she is want you know willing to jump in what are the five things that you would compile from your experiences and share with us is necessary to just you know look for next for next step or next thing which you want to do or uh, which you want to just focus on got it got it yeah uh, let me see if i can come up with five but uh, but to the people uh, who are into this we have just started mm-hmm. i'll say remember you are you are attempting something which is considered very tough worldwide right uh, just remember that uh, don't forget that and uh, and it's called it's considered tough for a reason right um, because uh, it has been tough for anyone like a- everyone like the company you admire the unicorn founder or whoever it has been tough for everyone so just be there have a clear head um uh, you know only a clear uh, clear head and clear thinking can take you any further if hmm. at all is it developed is it developed yeah. immediately or this is like a process to understand have a clear thinking this is a process to understand i think i i meditated a lot that will be hmm. another podcast to discuss about but right. uh, that that really helped me i read a lot i meditate i play but i i do other interesting things which my age people also do so i'm kind of that hmm. person uh, but i i do meditate and you know i hmm. give some give them enough time to reflection so that's one thing have a clear head uh, hmm. and understand that it's tough but uh, anything that can take you forward is just a clear good quality decision which you take a time and again and again hmm. Hmm. Uh, clarity second thing is second thing is new young people who are doing this if you are too afraid to do this uh, i don't know then you should not maybe possibly do it but if you feel like uh, you have a certain uh, certain restlessness that you're not doing it uh then get into this it's not that scary you will figure it out but understand the situation understand your constraints make the best out of it and just do um uh, so i think these are things you know these not five but these are things that having a clear head being authentic 
understand solve a real problem which you feel like which you connect with like you started a company i think you must have had some experience some some insight that this is required and it's really solving a problem mm. so, so just like that i just like that look around you you see mm. what you can solve don't mm. don't get affected by crowd but have your own independent thinking mm. and let's just jump in and there are so many people to take help from you know just go mm. out on linkedin and there are so many people who are ready to help now, i never say no to anyone who reach out to me on linkedin for any help mm-hmm. um and what actually this is happening because of yes only <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's the thing uh, just have a clear head uh, understand be be uh, reflective uh and uh, and take the best step forward uh that's how you crack it like uh like somebody told me ke if you, if you have one eye on the goal the next you will only have one eye on the path so right. goal you decide a direction but then just focus what is in front of you give all of all of what you have to crack it and just crack it but okay. understand that next fantastic fantastic so i think your conclusion would come across this way that you have to be there what you are doing it's not something that you are looking at somebody and you are jumping into probably you should be yeah. in love with the process that you are eventually want to do i think that's how you yes, exactly. uh, you say like how you crack it exactly i think this was amazing talk probably i would definitely like to have another hour and hour uh, to discuss little bit more about like in future uh, this was fantastic time spend with you and some of some of my perspective have give you know got a clear idea and i think this will help a lot people out and somewhat the businesses who the people who are looking out to you because nowadays it is more important to understand how uh, you know real time people are doing it and cracking it because the last thing which i wanted to share that i feel we have lot many things to see as a motivational content or let's say the content which is which is required to go and to do one conventional things but somewhat yeah. there is a way to do it somewhat there is a technical things which probably these talks can get bring into because mm-hmm. uh, you always don't you know need motivation sometime you always you know need a practical approaches to think as you said reach out to linkedin to anybody you have lot of lot many opportunities there to you know crack so i think this will help people who who are in a technical way but they are somewhere you know as pass hi hai but nahi mil pa raha so i think this was a great talk and i wish uh, if i'm i'm somebody you know somewhere i would you know i can meet you in person sometime uh, probably that would be a good experience too so thank you so much for giving your time here and i think this would this will definitely bring the change and i would love that you now next time we can meet uh, as online offline anything so it was wonderful no, talking no, and exactly and same thing for you i think uh, uh you know this attempt of yours this this podcast you created is just amazing and i wish you very best of luck as i said so that you started a very noble cause right uh, and that 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 matters uh you know <laughs> and that really matters that why you are doing what you are doing right so, right so really best of luck i am very sure it will go to uh, the places there's a one last question like i just want to understand yeah. uh, what do you want to suggest us or let's say me on this what i am doing like one thing that you probably not suggest like you can add the pointer to like what exactly uh, you felt as a suggestion or point to sure. make fun sure uh, i think i think uh, you know uh, this is my this second time i'm recording a podcast and i think uh, it's very important that uh, you know understand who you are making it for and what exactly uh, it 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 the all the good posts that i've seen that you know somewhere they have to get it out that what they want exactly uh, mm-hmm. who they want to serve what they want to ask right which i think uh, and it really drive the conversation in that and i think it's not a suggestion or feedback it's just uh, one thing that if i'll ever start a podcast i'll uh, take care of that and i think <laughs> you already took care of that okay already thank you so much that. thank you so much like i am eventually evolving and trying in every every attempt so that was a great time thank you so much for your time i wish you best of luck and wish i wish i can we can meet sometime sure thank you thank you abhi thank you bye thank you bye